This video on spending 20 days building Amber to prove that anyone can be a DPS. So since a lot of people claim that Amber is the worst character in the game, and for some reason, they put Amber on D tier or Amber tier. So today, I want to put that claim to a task. Does Amber really suck or is she just misunderstood? So by the end of day 20, the goal is to get as much damage as possible. And here's what happened. On day 1, I started making some progress by increasing Ember's level from level 20 to level 40 with the 400 XP books we got from Burning Ley Lines. And apparently, I got plenty of her ascension materials. Yeah, we got like 16 of the Pyro Regisvine stuff. So, I level her up and I'm a bit surprised we can reach level 70 just like that before we ran out of boss materials. And man, it's been a while since I fought the Pyro Regisvine. Also, this is probably the perfect time to showcase the Balloon Team. Why do I call this the Balloon Team? It'll make sense soon enough. Alright, here we go. So first stop, we gotta break the pyro shells with Mona Roma attack. This part is usually the easiest part. And once it breaks, instantly swirl with Sucrose, then Bennett Elemental Burst, Mona Elemental Burst, switch back to Bennett, then wait around 2 to 3 seconds, then pop the balloon. And there you go, 200k. Alright, let's claim our hard earned reward. And now we just gotta do this 3 more times. So here's the satisfying Bennett balloon popping montage. But after spending all my resin, we still need one more Everflame Seed. So I consumed this transient resin thing to get an extra 60 resin. Then I popped the balloon one last time. And now Amber is level 80. Oh yeah, also, we got two free Acquainted Fates from Ascending Amber, Tora World twice, and we got the Rust and the Raven Bow. On day 2, all domains are open because it's Sunday. So I'm planning to get some talent books. But before that, let's level up Ember's talent with some leftovers. From level 1 to level 4 bunny, level 4 alt, and level 5 normal attack until we ran out of freedom talent books. So then, I grabbed my Mona and Bennett, and here we go again. The first waves of enemy were some Cryo Slimes. Alright, easy. We just break the Cryo Shield with Bennett E and alt, and pull out Ember's Baron bunny, and get comboed. Then I figured to just keep charge attacking with Hu Tao, and it works really well. Next enemies were these Fire Abyss Mages, so I just quickly charge attack them all with Hu Tao and beat the domain. Anyways, I didn't claim the domain and got 5 Slubber Books and 5 Brown Books. Yeah, we still need more than that, so let's keep farming. Also, meantime, let's test out Ember's Bunny Explosion Damage. 1k? I mean, not bad for a character holding a level 1 weapon and no artifact. Oh yeah, and I just found the real use for Amber. If you want to break these Abyss Mage's shield, we can use Amber Alt to quickly break it, and Amber broke the shield in record time. Yeah, so after all that, I was able to claim the domain 6 more times, and now we can upgrade Baron Bunny to level 5, and Amber's Alt to level 5, before we quickly run out the Silver Books. So, with the Alchemy, I changed the Brown Books to the Silver Books, and we got 6 total Silver Books, because Sing Cho gave us an extra Brown Book. Okay, now Amber's Bunny's level 6. Seven. On day 3, I'm spending all my resin in the talent book domain again, and hopefully today we can get all Ember's talent to level 7. So I'll quickly beat the domain with Ember's ult to kill the slime, and as you can see, it's very effective. And Ember's bunny just learned a new move, the flying bunny. Anyways, then I claim some more books, then upgrade all Ember's talent, and there you go, all Ember's talents are level 7. On day 4 is where the artifact fun begins. This domain was so easy cause Ganyu can quickly melt them. Yeah look at that, 40k melt just like that. And for the hill drills, we use the balloon technique from yesterday. Although there's a slight glitch cause Bennett can't pop the balloon this time. Oh, oh no, there you go, 120k. Next enemies were Pyro Abyss Mages. I just broke their shell with Mona Normal Attack. Anyways, first claim of the day, we got a pretty nice flower. So I'll quickly level it up to level 4, hoping to get attack percentage. But of course, we got defense. Then at level 8, it upgrades the crit rate. Level 12, it upgrades the crit rate again. But sadly, at level 16, it went to HP. And at level 20, it went to defense. This isn't the best flower, but let's just equip that for now. Alright, one down, four more to go. Although this time, the helicopters got an upgrade, because they just comboed me to death from a hidden technique called spinning. On the second claim, I got an okay power of fatter, but it could be better. Third claim, I got no Crimson Witch of Flames artifacts. And for the last claim, I got a flower that could be better than the current one. So I'll level the artifact to level 5, and it goes to defense. And at level 8, it goes to defense again. Yeah, I'ma just stop there and go to bed. Day 5, I continue farming artifacts, and today we got nothing but some very nice, amazing stuff. It's day 6 and I thought we should go back to the talent domain to get some more talent books. So I speed ran these cryo slimes with Bennett alt and Kuching alt to kill all the slimes and another Kuching alt to kill the abyss mages. Clearly Kuching is still meta. 
only me. Anyways, I then claimed the domain, and from 4 claims with 4 condensed resin, we only got 2 golds in total. But we can always craft the silver books to the gold books, and just like that, we got 8 gold books. Day 7, we're back here again outside the pyro domain, and who knows, who thought might be hiding behind that tree. Anyways, for this domain run, we just keep it very simple and use Ganyu with Mona and Bennett so we can pop more balloons. You know, I kinda like popping balloons. Popping is my passion. You know what else is my passion? Getting great artifacts. Day 8 and 9, I'm still farming artifacts, and after a lot of claims later, we actually got a nice goblet. Yeah, hydro damage bonus goblet. Perfect for Amber. So, after all of this, I gave up farming Amber and went to bed. Hi, it's actually 2023 now. I may or may not take a break for two whole years. Why do I decide to come back? Because Amber just reached friendship level 10 today. And what better way to celebrate it by leveling Amber up to level 90. So I went back to the Pyro Regisvine place, murder it as fast as I can with Hu Tao, which then takes long longer because I kind of forgot it has pyro resistance but no worries because world bosses are completely a joke nowadays and like wow for once I'm actually lucky because we got 3 everflame seed 4 times in a row but we still need more so on day 11 I killed some more pyro regis vines spent all 160 resin and claimed 4 times and now we have a total of 20 everflame seed so all we need now is to obtain these gemstones and these arrowheads which are craftables in the alchemy so I craft 6 pyro gemstones and a couple of arrowheads and oh yeah today Today is Mondstadt Festival Day. There's Kali there, just chillin'. And isn't Amber Kali's best friend? Ah, uh, whoops, I went to a cutscene. Anyways, we can finally ascend Amber up, and now she's finally level 90. On day 12, I went back to the talent domain, used the Raiden national team, so I kinda forgot that the enemy was mostly cryo, but that's not a problem because Raiden took care of it all. Anyways, I claimed the domain 4 times and got only 2 gold. And we need like 10 more or something. So I quickly went back to the alchemy and crafted brown books to the silver books and the silver books to the gold books. And there goes 450k Mora. Day 13, I finally went back to the Crimson Witch of Flames artifact domain after 2 whole years. And I'm more optimistic than ever. Yeah, this is gonna raise a flag. So in an old fashion style, I beat the crap out of him very fast with Ganyu. And missed horribly. First claim of the day, we got an ER timepiece, but we don't need him. Second claim, I got a defense timepiece and a dendro damage bonus goblet. Third claim, I got an animal damage bonus goblet. And my last claim, I got an HP timepiece and an HP crown. Day 14, I used up all my resin on the Pyro Artifact Domain again, and we got the best artifact for Amber, the dendro damage bonus goblet. Yeah, two years later, and my luck has been the same. But on day 15, however, I'm not being sarcastic this time, but we got an actual good artifact for once. A pyro damage bonus goblet with great substat. It just needs crit rate to make it perfect. So I quickly level it up to level 4, and we got it somehow. Yeah, this artifact can't go wrong now, because I leveled it up to level 20, and got 10% crit rate and 14% crit damage. Alright, goblet done. And for the feather, apparently I got this level 20 feather from back then, so I equipped it, and there you go, 3 artifact done, 2 more to go. So all we need now is the crit crown, and a decent attack timepiece. But on day 16, it looks like we're back to square one because although yes, we got some crowns, it's a defense crown. On day 17, I thought I'ma have some fun farming artifacts with the full starter team. What the problem is, they are not built. But how bad could it be? <laughs> Yeah, it's really bad. Well, I'm bringing the Archon team now. I mean, this team can't go wrong unless I kind of forget we're not supposed to use Electro. Because if you use Electro, you get shot. Also, there's these Pyro Abyss Mages and there's no Hydro Archon to break it. But we can still break the Pyro Shield the hard way by using Venti and Nahida. Yeah, even though we beat it, it really doesn't feel like this domain is built for the Archon team. Anyways, I claimed the reward, and I forgot to make some condensed resin, so we only got one 5-star artifact this time. So I quickly went to the alchemy and crafted some condensed resin. Then this time, I'm just gonna use Ganyu and Ayaka. Like, using Ganyu and Ayaka is so much faster, as you can see. I feel like this domain is built for Cryo and Hydro, but at the moment, there's no Hydro or Cryo Archon. Meaning we'll just not use the Archon team for now. Alright, so second claim of the day, we got a defense timepiece and a defense timepiece. Third claim, got no crimson artifact, and for the last claim, we got a crown. And we need a crown. But a crown, guess what? It's defense. 
Day 18, I continue farming artifacts and got nothing but more dendro damage bonus. Day 19 is like any other day. I convert my resin to condensed resin. Then I went back to the domain, quickly slaying all the slimes with Ganyu, and watch more raiding aim. Yeah, I'm the best. Anyways, remember, we only need an attack timepiece and a crit crown. Okay, nice. We get a crimson timepiece. But knowing my luck, it's probably a defense timepiece. Nope, even better. It's HP. Yeah, then after that, we got a nice goblet for Amber. And the last claim, we got another timepiece. And it's EM. Awesome. Day 20, it's the final day. And I'm still farming artifacts with Ganyu. Oh yeah, watch this. I just did a sick dodge move with Mona. Yeah, I definitely planned that. Uh, artifact full? Well, it's time to trigger some of you by burning some purple artifacts. If I can, I would burn some 5 star artifacts. But if you don't know, you can't. Alright, I'ma do gun you all then claim for good luck. And it works. We got a crimson crown. Just what we need. And never mind, we got HP. Then after that, I click the artifact domain 3 more times. And there's still no signs of any good crowns or timepiece. And as you can see, we're still missing two pieces. Whoop, well, you know what that means. Time to gamble. So I burned most of the lava walkers we got from farming the pyro domain. Yeah, we got 11 crimson witch of flame artifact. And although we got four crimson timepiece, none of these are great. So I just steal please artifacts. I mean, borrow clee artifacts and give me a timepiece. And there you go. Artifacts done. But there's still one last thing to do. Nice. Anyways, for the weapon, we'll just use this Coward Harp since that's the only 5-star artifact I have. So, here's your stats. 1.9k attack, 67% crit rate, 180% crit damage. Alright, all that's left to do is to test your damage. And so, here's what happened. Alright, uh, you ready? Let's go, let's go. So basically, you do this, Bene Kazuo e, e, and then you don't Kazuo plan, e. and then Ka Kazuo Bird, and then Mona Alt. Mona Alt, go. no? Go, go, go. Tell me when to shoot the bunny. When you see Cryo, go. Okay! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Alright! But no, hold on. Is Sucrose better than Kazuha in this in this Ooh. case, okay? Maybe. Hear me out. Maybe. Hear me out. Oh wait, us! We forgot something. Food buff! Oh, fuck. <laughs> forgot about that. Same, dude. You're telling me it can go higher. So first, we need to do this. Bana E. Sucrose E. Sucrose roll cryo. Mona go. Alt. Ember E. Amber shoot the bunny. Oh, okay. There was two damage, dude. So in total, it deals how much, dude? Math. Like 400. 400k. 420. Yeah. 420. 420. <laughs> wow.